Hello again, it's me doing another unboxing. Today we're doing a scroller box and this is uh, one of the ones that I got in my massive Black Friday haul of scrollers. So this will be a scroller box from a April 2021. If you don't want a surprise, go and have a look, go and look it up on their website. Uh, if you do want a surprise, because I cannot for the life of me remember what was in it, uh, carry on watching. So we'll open them up. Ah, oh, the covered bit, this is one that, just one little rip and you're into your art supplies. So it looks like just one eel pip and you're into your art cuddles. Ah, oh, it looks like cuddles. That's so cute. Look, big cuddles. That's nice. Or possibly cuddlies. Oh, what is this? What is this? Right, so we have got some cool stuff. Right, so let's do that. The zine. So we won't look at that because that'll give us an idea of what it was. We've got some flamingos. Uh, Camilla Gardner. We've got some watercolour pepper. So I'm thinking something watercolour is happening here. And inside a little wrap of pepper. Wrap of pepper. Is <laughs> I like to take it off with a sticker attack. <laughs> but unfortunately, that's not going to happen. Okay, so today the sweet is Swiss's Great British Pud Sticky Toffee Pudding. That, and it's kind of, I don't know if it's meant to be flat or if it's just become flat. I'm assuming it has a very long sell by or it may possibly have no sell by because it's made entirely of sugar who knows whether it's edible or not i'm not going to find out right now <laughs> we've got the sticker which is feathery at the front of the magazine you've got the menu Ooh. Ooh, that's a fancy one it's got little squishy bits so you've got a water brush Nice water brush. We have got a black china graph for films, plastics, china, and glass. Can you see that from West Design? We have got a white china graph, and I've had white china graph before, and it's not my favorite white pencil, but we will leave that to one side for films, plastics, china, and glass. And then we, oh, what have we got here? We've got Aquafine, Hooker's Green. I always could, I assume someone called Hooker invented this particular green. I'm having trouble seeing it, so I'm going to try and focus in a bit more. Yeah, she says, unfocusing it entirely. Come on. Nope, too fuzzy. No, that's as good as it's going to get, I think. Hooker's Green, Dark. Lemming yellow, lemon yellow, obviously not actual lemming because that would be weird. Ultramarine blue dark, uh, alizarin crimson, nice. My light's just fallen off. My table, just bear with me a sec. <clears throat> Naughty light to your bed. Naughty light, prepare. Right, let's try that again. Alizarin crimson, crimson blue and Chinese white and raw sienna right so we've got on here this one's also about working with layers to create palpable textures so you got the daily running aquafine watercolor tubes which are two pounds six each it reckons so there's probably more than that now they aren't brush button water brush this convenient refillable water brush is perfect for painting on the go Wherever and whenever creativity hits, the brush reaches a larger water barrel and has a push button for easy control water release. The bristles are made from durable nylon fibers which hold shape at the point for continuous and regular use. <laughs> yeah. uh, Royal Sovereign China Graph pencils. The versatile pencil will work on virtually any surface using China, plastic, acetate film, brick, wood, and glass. By, cu by kiming specially selected pigments, I think they mean combining. Although I like the idea of them combing specially selected pigments. 
pigments as much as they are resistant to water, but you can remove them from non-porous surfaces with a dry cloth or a tissue, making making them for an interesting pairing with watercolour paints. These are extremely accessible and easy to use and can even be sharpened with a normal pencil sharpener. Well, you'd hope so. Each book provides you with selection of So the Scrawler Challenge on this one. Yeah, and you've got a watercolour pad there. Uh, Scrawler Challenge is Birds of a Feather. Okay. Let me just have a think about that one. While well, I have a little think as well, it's probably worth having a quick flick through the uh, through the zine, having a look what's in there. So you've got all the bits and bobs, obviously. The wax cure this mess is extremely water resistant. Use it with the noise that watercolors will not affect it. Oh, that's good. Oh, I would have liked a lemon meringue one. Sad face. And that was which was that? Uh, that one more strawberry scrawler books. Fractured figures, nice. Evian art. I, I need to be quite uh, honest in that birds are not really my main thing. However, I feel that we can work with this anyway. So give me a moment to have a little think and I will be back. 